Hi guys, this is Sydney. Um, so I was feeling really pulled to share this message with you guys. So I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm just going to let my intuition guide me through this. Um, today, um, I just feel very low in energy, but I'm getting a lot of clarity with all the information and the messages that I have been receiving um, in April, in March. Um, so, um, in this video, I am particularly feeling guided to share about, uh, why you are here in the first place. So I'm here to remind you, uh, why you are here. Um, so first of all, you are here to release or all karma. And first you're here to release all fear. <laughs> So you can raise your vibration, so you can join new earth, meaning ascend. So right now what is taking place um, in this eclipse season uh, that I just received the information yesterday is that we are having to clear all lower density attachments to the idea of time and space that we've been living in the third dimensional world. So this idea of past, um, present and future and that we are moving into a space as an object, right? So we move a certain object into another space that concept has to be cleared out was a very clear information that I received uh, was it today yeah today actually so um, that's why I have been experiencing a lot of this like amnesia kind of moments where I just completely uh, forgot or couldn't think of my passcode um, entering into my apartment building and all of the stories that I shared in my previous videos and connecting to like the timeline of Aztec, um, Egypt and all of that and actually um, around the time I shared a lot of the about the ancient history and connecting ourselves to that timeline um, I was connecting to Abu Simbel, the energy there with the energy of Ra. And I been kept showing uh, this the same travel show, same uh, documentary about uh, sharing the story about um, the Abu Simbel. It was the same show over and over and over um, on TV. And... This didn't happen. It happened over the course of two months now. And at one point around, um, I believe around lunar eclipse time before or around or ap just soon after, around that time, um, the spirit had me watch the TV and I was turning on the TV and I'm flipping the channel and Abu Simbel again. And then... On that day, I've been seeing the same show uh, about like three, four times by then. And then when I was watching the show, um, I had this huge energy um, that was coming through the screen. And then uh, my crown chakra was really activated and all my upper chakras. And the energy was so strong that as I was watching, my hat was like tilted back because energy was that incoming was so strong. I was like, like this, like shaking because of the energy. It's like, you know, almost as if a strong wind is like moving you or something. It's different from that because it's very softer, very much refined energy. Um, that's how I can describe it best. Um, but then it was coming to me with certain information. And so um, in the collective, uh, what I got was a lot of the starseeds, lightworkers, um, 
uh, the new earth leaders, meaning who those of you who have been working on higher consciousness, um, have been disciplining themselves in faith, um, in trust, and in unconditional love, and continue to heal yourself through self-honesty, uh, integrity, to seek truth within. Um, those of you um, who have been doing this work uh, were the specific message that you may have been going through, not like similar or the same exact experience uh, the way I did, but um, somehow you've been pulled to connect to certain uh, ancient civilizations or indigenous groups, Native Americans, um, is the message. And when you were doing that without you recognizing and you don't have to experience this as, intense, and as intensely as I did, but whenever you were connecting and you were drawn to this, um, the story behind the civilization or the energy behind it, if you're an energy worker or um, astrologist or readers, uh, is that um, you were ready to receive certain uh, ancient sacred codes from these timelines that you were connected to on a soul level. So that's why you were drawn to this period over the course of um, since since February, March, and up until now. So that is what is taking place. And we had the preparation period since uh, late last year. The fourth quarter of last year is what I'm getting. So since then, we've been, you know, getting prepared with certain stories about certain history and certain cultures and ancient civilizations. And we were just warming up during that time in the fourth quarter of 2023. And now we are doing this is because, um, because as you hold the higher consciousness and higher vibration right now, um, you are being called um, by the source, whether you are um, aware of them or not. Um, a lot of what I see is Reiki healers, um, um, light, people who do light language transmissions. Um, but those of you who have been in this uh, diligent, disciplinary shadow work phase that you were continuously facing your shadow and healing and you weren't like being sitting in pride or uh, ego that you know you have this gifts and you are in this position that you're not playing the power game like in invisible hierarchical structure that you have inside your subconscious that is activating the ego that you are better than everyone else or something like that but you are seeing everyone as an equal and you're continuously focusing on your healing so those are the ones who um, are being given uh, this gift or the download or the blessings in a way because as you connect with these uh, timelines you're receiving a lot of sacred information um, in your subconscious that's going to help later on in whatever that you do that is for Gaia, for Ascension, for the universe at large, okay? So that is what is coming up. So right now I may be talking in a very slow manner because I'm very low in energy right now and I feel like I just want to like lie down and sleep or something like that but I'm just feeling really guided to share this message so uh, just um, keep that in mind <laughs> that I'm in this energy right now very like drowsy <laughs> energy um, so um Also, you could be actually go back and reliving certain timelines. And it's not just that you're clearing um, your bloodline, meaning like your grandfather, your great-grandfather, great-great-great-grandfather, great-great-grandmother, or 
you know, it's more than that is what I'm guided to share. It's it's going way back to Atlantean times, Lemurian times. If you had that um, soul connection to those civilizations, the the golden age in Atlantis and, you know, the peak in uh, Lemuria. So all those wisdom and the codes are being downloaded and all the karma that had been accrued, accrued from those timelines are being cleared by you. That's why you may be feeling, you may have been feeling, especially at this, uh, during this eclipse or since uh, March, um, you know, the periods where you feel really tired and sleepy and because it's not, uh, you needed to integrate a lot of these codes and information in your cells and DNA, um, that's going to help activate the 12 strains of DNA, not just within your body, but for the collective um, and so what I was also guided to share was that, um, with your spirit team, they're also very curious about, uh, what you are going through because it has never been done before. So all you are doing and what you may be going through is also the first experience or the first time for your spirit team as well. So they're really watching and helping you, monitoring you. And also learning from you is what I'm guided to share because you volunteer to be on this dense frequency <laughs> um, and you're going through a lot. So just um, take good care of your body, well-being, um, do self-care, meaning allow yourself to rest, allow yourself to uh, listen to your own body and provide what it needs. Allow your intuition to guide you through so you don't overwork yourself or exhaust yourself or distract yourself. So that way you can be, uh, you can stay focused. So even when you're resting your own course, even when you are sleeping, you're staying focused because whenever you are aligned to your intuition, and all the listening that you do in silence as you go in, it's where you need to be in that moment is what I'm guided to share. So that's how you stay focused because uh, right now the eclipse energy is very um, intense in a sense that... Um, the idea of time and the idea of space are calling all those of you who I just mentioned um, to integrate and clear so that um, it clears out all different timeline and dissolves and transmutes the lower timelines um, in the entire collective throughout the entire history of Gaia. So this is really, really big and really, really... Um, intense so um yeah once again your spirit team is learning a lot from you right now as you go through this and they're processing the information together with you as they're supporting you at this time okay so um also, the abundance codes have been coming down from all different civilizations that I have been connecting to. Um, so as I was meditating in nature a couple of weeks ago, I started to connect to all these different timelines that my soul was connected to, like Aztec, the Mayans, the Tibetan culture, the Indian, um, the Egyptian, and all these like uh, Native Americans. Um, yeah, so all these cultures, right? And then I was drawing abundance codes and I started to activate like light language, anchoring that to my heart center, um, to this physical body. And um, I had to sit with them, you know, until now um, because I needed to understand what that is about. 
So um, I was being shown this clip um, that just uh, popped up, and it was it, usually it's uh, it's on purpose. It's sent by the source directly, and I saw this like the title was like Ambassador for New Earth, and this woman um, was like. I guess speaking in front of an audience, like a spiritual community, and she was speaking in a manner that we are one, and we are like one, like all of us are one in oneness, and she was speaking briefly, it was a very short clip, and like in a manner that was like a warrior-like, even though she was a female, she had this like, we are one, and we are this oneness, and blah, 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 like one love and then at the end she said and this affirmation i'm gonna i want to share this affirmation that changed my life and it's by bob proctor and she said um the money flows to me in all different like all different sources like effortlessly or something like that so it was about this affirmation regarding manifesting money and i wondered about that because the energy that I was feeling it wasn't like sitting well Um, so I asked my spirit team what is this about what's the message behind me seeing this and after I received all this abundance codes um, about two, three days ago, uh, I was reconnecting to the indigenous culture uh, in the land of North America, right? A lot of Native Americans. Um, and all the civilizations in this lifetime, I have no, I don't really know much about the details of the history because I never read about the civilizations. It's only the information that I'm relying on is directly coming from source, my spirit team, or or, uh, my soul uh, tapping into the Akash uh, as I had the experience there. And when that happened, um, the indigenous, uh, from the indigenous culture, uh, there was this message that I was drawing this abundance codes and this abundance doesn't mean, um, didn't mean, wasn't wasn't talking about money. So it was related to um, nature. It was related to the birth, uh, you know, the so-called, the birthright or um, the natural abundance that we are, we embody within um because we are part of the nature and it had to do with gaia and it had to do with clearing up all this like lower density concepts and ideas about time space manifestation and money and all of that it was all connected to that so um the indigenous saying uh was it's only until you experience the last um, breath of air, last um, taste of water, last um, taste of uh, the nature, you will realize that you cannot live on money. It was a very uh, strong message. So we now have to clear up this energy where we are have we are having to, um, in a way, reset, realign all these timelines, or create this new timelines that is in alignment with the higher frequency of the new earth. That it's not that we are moving into the new earth; it's that you need. You're ascending as you shift your vibration, as you raise your frequency. And in order to do that, that's why that um, remember or the reminder of why you are here in the first place, that you are here to clear karma, release karma, let go, 
and let go of fear by looking into any belief systems that you have been buying into. It's for example, if you keep saying, I'm, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm out of control, I feel like I'm stuck, is anchoring down and you are experiencing that reality is because you completely believe that you are out of control. So that's why we need to look into our belief system where you agree with what you believe in. So any conflicts, any discrepancies, any disharmony within what you desire and what you believe in in your subconscious are going to be in block the flow, the res create resistance. That's why it's so important for us to go into studying your own limiting beliefs. And in order for you to do that, you can ask somebody to dissect and decode and translate and analyze everything for you. At the end of the day, you have to do it yourself. That's what ascension means, is what is coming up for me to share. So you can't rely on anyone else in that sense. And with that, we are learning the power within, the God within yourself. And that is ascension. Um, so if you are constantly telling yourself these stories or feeding yourself these stories, you don't know what they did to me. You don't know how they hurt me. You don't know how they... Uh, betrayed me you're not going to go after them you're not going to use all use all your energy up to revenge go after them right prove them wrong or prove yourself right um, that is the energy that we um, need to move away from but when we are in karma we hold on and also, the energy of anger and resentment that came up was that if you're in anger and resentment, what happens is you're using up all your energy to fight, right? To fight and to prove, to defend, right? So in that moment, you trade your ability to trust and to surrender and to be in complete protection from God and your spirit team, your guardian angels, however you resonate, your, your source, right? You're using up all that same energy to fight, to defend, and to prove. So in that moment, you're constantly living in suspicion. That is the lack, that is the scarcity, that is the limitation. So whenever you have this urge or the temptation to fight or to defend or to prove by comparing yourself that um, they're doing this to me, which is a victim consciousness. You need to consciously be aware. That's why you need to constantly work on expanding your self-awareness. And the only way to do that is to go in and to go in, meaning listening to yourself and to listen to yourself you have to be in complete silence meaning you have to be away from all distractions of society all distractions of thoughts and temptations and the lower entities and um, all these beings who are trying to distract you constantly right so you have to watch what you are consuming on media, on with people who you connect to, the conversations that you have. That's why the boundaries come in, the discernment comes in, right? And with that, you're going to hear yourself. And that's the only way you can discover more of who you are and release this karma, release this fear. And basically, all the systems we experience, they basically taught us fear, or they basically taught us to fear, 
the school taught us to fear, all the government organizations taught us to fear, all the workplaces, the companies, the social structures and institutions taught us to fear when we look at it because it's all based on, based, built on duality consciousness. So this is not an easy process to drop everything, but you are here because you're capable. If you weren't capable, you weren't being invited to be here. And so in that sense, a lot of people who are in victim consciousness, in fear of being rejected, being abandoned, suffer from not being chosen because of that centralized power that we lived under. And with that, you want to remember, and I'm here to remind you that you were chosen. And all this like talks about you being the chosen ones and the spiritual community that I've been listening lately. That, you know, in a sense, it is true because you earn that way because you've been doing the work. Um, meaning that's the human language that we are using, right? Being chosen um, is because simply means you raised your vibration and the universe is simply responding to that according to the law of the uni universal laws. And we talk in a way, in a human language way that you are being chosen by God or that you are the chosen one. But everyone here right now is being, have been chosen or have been invited because of your capacity and capabilities. And so I'm just here to remind you, but based on what you do with what you have right now, it's going to uh, further change how you feel. Because the more you work on yourself and ascend, meaning raise your vibration, raise your frequency, meaning your voice plays an important role and a very crucial role, meaning everything that you say to yourself, that you entertain in your mind in a form of thoughts, um, whatever that you you hear in your mind, whatever that you say, um, they are the sound frequency, meaning the sound vibration, meaning that creates your own environment. And that environment becomes um, the vibrational match to you. So if you constantly say something bad, or compare yourself and you find yourself getting jealous and you start to go into hate, right? You don't like people getting successful or you, you think that, oh, I can do that, but why are they in that place and doing this and that? It's not fair or, you know, um, you're in secret competition with someone you know, all this energy that you're harboring in a very private, secretive place that you only, that you think you only know, it is constantly communicating with the universe. So you want to look into these self-talk and review and release, meaning purify your thoughts, purify your heart. Purify your auric field, meaning purify your frequency so that you can accelerate ascend. Okay, so that is the message that I'm guided to share. Okay, so you may want to drop all the stories. You don't know what they did to me. You don't know they almost killed me. You don't know it's self-pity, this victim consciousness. They did this to me. This is not fair, right? Or the pride and ego. They didn't know who they were messing with me, blah, blah, blah. All this like, um, the ego talking. You need to soften that up with love. 
and this energy of spring that is kicking off in April with Aries season is very much in support for us to like thaw with the spring sun it's melting away all the ice I'm blocking our heart right have your guard up um, in preparation that someone could leave you and you may have been you may be left being left alone or they're not choosing you so you're afraid of being alone and you don't know how you you're gonna survive all this fear right all this trauma must be released continuously and this eclipse season is also helping you and on a collective level with the light workers and new earth leaders you're also connecting to all these different timelines to clear up the lower densities with different concepts and the consciousness that it's holding as vibration in regards to the idea of time and space especially um, it is being cleared up and you're doing so much work um, so much more work than you realize that's why you feel very tired <laughs> is a message so um, do not doubt where you are do not doubt what you are doing uh, when you are connected to your truth and intuition okay and yeah we are clearing up all this time space trauma fear just release let go let go you don't want to repeat this you don't want to repeat and it's the circumstances are going to go even worse meaning the universe will push you into a very challenging situation so that the only way to realize is to go in so unless you want that you want to release them all together now start working on yourself is a very strong message and you're not going into or moving into a timeline you are simply raising your vibration and to do that you need to release all the baggage and a lot of the generational karmic cycle breakers like me, earth angels, we didn't come here because all the karma that you've been carrying is not yours. You didn't have any karma coming in, some of you, very few of you. But you took on other people's karma. Okay? So just honor your role in this okay and recognize the hard work that you've been doing to serve humanity the collective and everyone so your kindness that you didn't receive in reciprocation that you love that you share you didn't receive back in return do not hold on in resentment and anger it's because it's all being worked by the universal laws and you just have to focus on being you rather than holding on to who did you wrong who harmed you right okay so continue to release and also in the process you need to forgive yourself as you continue to work with karma is you took on a lot of the judgment that perhaps you did something wrong you should have done something this way that way that's what you've been told right you have to do this you have to be this way you're supposed to do that shoots right should not supposed to so all these ideas that created guilt within yourself in the subconscious that we've been continuously releasing intensely since late last year and we are at the end of this one uh, big culmination point and so the 369 has been coming up to uh, remind you that those of you 
Uh, you may want to look into three years before, six years before, nine years back. All the work that you have been doing, three years, six years, nine years from this point onwards, you've been diligently working. You are receiving what you put out is the message that I'm ready to share. And with the abundance codes, all this money affirmations that we are using in the spiritual community, it is connected to the third density world of the 3D earth. And we need to dissolve that timeline. That timeline has to be removed ultimately for Gaia. And in order for us to do that, the new earth leaders who are now in a certain level of higher consciousness are leading the way for the collective that everything is energy. That money is part of the energy. That's why we call it currency. It's the current, the energy flow. And that that's not all. And the message behind it is not to dishonor money or discredit money or make money less important in this physical, very physical oriented reality. It is part of, you know, the experiment and experience and it plays an important role. But just that we need to realign and readjust and restructure the primary focus so that energy is aligned to that of higher frequency or the highest timeline that it is we need to go back to nature of where we came from the essence that's why we are connecting to the indigenous groups, the Native Americans, and their wisdom and their connection to nature. And the Aztecs especially came through with the sun energy. They used to worship sun. I don't know about the Aztec history that much, but that was information that I received, tapping into that timeline that I had a memory back as I was connecting to Tupac, and I've been connecting to Tupac since like February, March, um, that I mentioned in my previous video as I was sharing the song. And a few days later, a couple of days later, um, I started to cry like crazy, like I did when I was connecting to the Native American timeline that I lived back in summer of last year like mourning and grieving because I was uh, my soul aspect as an Isis who created the Aztec culture was originally creating the culture in connection with the sun to anchor down the frequency of warmth and fertility to Gaia. But as it was the duality consciousness and all this lower uh, consciousness um, led the spirituality into an extreme where they started to worship sun, worship the sun god. Therefore, they were sacrificing humans, human flesh to worship. Um, but the original energy was about the worm, the fertility, the heart, the generosity, the mother nature. And so as I was connecting to Tupac, because from what I tapped into, he had a lifetime in Aztec and he served a very important role. And he was like a medium that was connecting me, my soul level to the consciousness codes or the abundance codes or the sun codes, or the sun consciousness codes. Um, and I was connecting to that as I was feeling his energy that he had in this lifetime, in this latest lifetime. I don't know if he's reincarnated right now, uh, but when he was a rapper that we know as Tupac. So he carried this revolutionary energy of the sun god warrior, that I started to feel 
what he was going through and start to see all his times when he was alone with God because he was betrayed, he was shot, he was almost killed many times, right? He was born into this very harsh survival environment on purpose um, and he chose to do that for the collective and then I re you know started to connect to his energy when he made private prayers to God um, crying to for help and how hard it must have been you know feeling stabbed in the back by the families and the friends that he helped sincerely and he was like almost to a point like I can't trust anyone, trust no one. That is an extreme survival. Um, but he was trying to hold on to faith and love and truth and integrity. And he was sharing a lot of these codes of the divine masculine that is very, very empowered. Um, and so I saw his struggle. I felt his struggle. And I started to cry like crazy and the my soul aspect is an Isis started to come through. And then I was crying because he was my child. He was my child and as if my child was in suffering, I started to cry, uh, cry like crazy. Um, and as I'm talking right now, it makes me choke up even now because I'm connecting to his pain and suffering and his struggles and so i know a lot of people the star season light workers earth angels you know in paths however you resonate you went through very similar things you have your own stories but now it's time to let go of certain stories that have been uh, created out of that lower timelines of victim consciousness the trauma the fear Okay, continue to work on your self-release and just surrender because do not think that you are completely healed or that you've moved on completely. Just completely surrender and start to flow because the universe takes care of it. When it needs to come up, when you need to face certain fears and shadow, it's going to come up and you just need to clear that. You don't need to hold on to certain ideas of shoulds and should nots was supposed to all these concepts, right? That you we are now clearing. So um, that is a very strong message that is coming for me to share. So... Um, I don't know how this is going to be delivered because right now my energy is so low and that I'm just talking as I if I'm like almost f about to fall asleep or something. So um, I just let my intuition guide me through. The source talked me through. The spirit team talked me through this. So I hope this message resonates with someone. And that you need to work on your energy of jealousy, of comparison that is leading to hatred because it's all rooted down to your feelings of being not enough, that you constantly compare someone as better or that they're in a superior place than you, that on a subconscious level, it threatens your survival, it threatens you. So that's why you get triggered. That's why you start to feel the resistance to or the feel the urge to fight against anyone or anything that gives you these feelings. But you need to feel these feelings and work on processing your own fears and insecurities so that you can root down that this is the heaven on earth. So the last message that I'm guided to share is also related to the abundance codes that I was downloading. And that was, I was looking, I was shown this TV show briefly on, on TV. Okay, TV show, TV, okay. 
<laughs> just uh, yeah, like redundant. But uh, I was shown this TV show where they were um, introducing like beautiful houses, expensive houses that like the owner built, custom built. So they are showing this house in this like very rich neighborhood or they're showing this house uh, where the owner is like a successful entrepreneur who makes this kind of income every year, you know, these numbers, right? And so they're, right now what's popular in Korea is to have a second home or like a building your own house in the suburb of Seoul, like just outskirts of Seoul. So what they're doing is they're um, hurting a lot of the nature to build the bigger the better like they're trying to build like swimming pools in and all this like it's trending right now um, and the real estate prices is going up and they're cutting down more trees right so it's not that they're building this harmoniously or consciously that to be with nature and to not harm the nature but they're taking advantage of the nature for their own selfish reasons, right? The bigger, the better, the ego. And that is taking place a lot in Korea right now and the energy is very dense. And uh, the government, uh, the people, the energy there is very dense um, because we are sitting now in a lot of the ego energy. And with that, this is planting a lot of seeds for people where it's anchoring down more heavier comparison, jealousies, lacks, insecurities because hatred, because how come they have more money? How come they can have that life but I don't? The unfairness, right, of life or I wish I can have that but I will never have that. I don't know, I will never have that amount of you know blah or with what I earned today it's not possible for me to so uh, I'm so jealous that they can live in such a house and everybody's dream is now becoming to build such a house like that and that's the only thing they're focusing on but once again going back to the Native American wisdom that un only until we taste the last breath of fresh air, the last taste of fresh water, the last poison, we will start to realize that we cannot live on money. We don't appreciate nature. We do not understand the power of nature, right? And so um, with that, what came from the Aztec was you are the heaven on earth. You are the heaven on earth. This all this uh, fear, limitation and lack created by religion, right? The hierarchical centralized systems have been taught us that we need to go up, go higher to reach the heaven up above. But actually the heaven is here with you in the here and now on earth. So this, your body, your vessel is your own heaven on earth. That's why you need to nurture and honor that as your best resource, protector, right? That you, why, that's why you need to work on your nervous system, releasing all this trauma stored in your cellular memory. So your vibration is freeing up space to receive all this higher light codes, healing codes, frequencies. And that's why your voice is the sound that you need to work on first and foremost before you listen to some sort of external frequency music to heal yourself. The very first sound that you need to pay attention to is your own sound, that is your own words, your own thoughts, the frequencies that they carry, what are they carrying? What are you allowing yourself to carry within your 
heaven and earth, this physical home within. Okay, so that is what we are called to do to anchor that down so that as you do so, you are ascending. Okay, and eventually on a physical level, we will separate fully and that eventually it is a high high possibility that we will no longer have the physical body we will become the light being so to reach that level that is in the timeline of the new earth we are working towards what it means to be the heaven and earth in your own body that wherever you are is your own heaven and earth so wherever you are you're feeling grateful you're feeling abundant you're feeling blessed all the time is the key for the abundance codes and that with in that frequency in that alignment you can start to create certain material things that you desire into your physical reality but it's not the other way around okay is a strong message that is has come and is coming right now for me to share for this particular audience is going to resonate reciprocate and connect with this energy that i'm sending and sharing okay so as always take however resonates for you and discern for yourself okay so um with that, I think that's all I'm guided to share at this time. Um, so I hope this helps you. And that I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.